Hello everyone, myself Sahana and I am going to explain the topic on cloud computing that is security risks posed by a management OS. Let us discuss the introduction to the management OS. Its definition tells that a management operating system refers to the systems used to manage the network servers and other IT resources for example cloud management platforms and also hypervisors for example virtual machine where and also like um, windows server openstack etc and its purpose is to centralize it the management of hardware software virtual resources and network devices its importance is in the it infrastructure and uh, it's also overview of the security concerns let us just see the key functions of the management os that is monitoring the hardware resources remote system management firmware updates and configurations access to the diagnostics and logs. Let us discuss what is the insider threats that the employees with access to the management operating system can pose the significant security risks where there is a misuse of privileges can lead to data breaches or system compromise. Implementing the strict access controls and also monitoring can help to mitigate insider threats. Let us see what are the insecure configurations that the misconfigurations in the management OS can expose the systems to attacks. In the default settings often will lack the security hardening, increasing the vulnerability. In the continuous configuration, auditing is more important to ensure a secure setup. Let us discuss what is lack of encryption. The data transmitted by the management OS may not be adequately encrypted. This can lead to interception of sensitive information during transmission. So the implementing encryption protocols helps the secure data in transit and also at the rest. Here we can see the asymmetric encryption that it uses a different key for the encryption and also the decryption. Let us see what is the third party integrations. Many management OS rely on third party applications and services. These integrations can introduce the additional vulnerabilities if not managed properly. While conducting through security assessments of third party components is essential. Let us discuss what is malware and ransomware. While the management OSs can be targeted by malware designed to disrupt the operations. While the ransomware attacks can cripple the management systems leading to significant downtime, regular backups and incident response plans are vital to recover from attacks. And in the lack of monitoring, like insufficient monitoring of the management OS can lead to unnoticed security incidents and in the log analysis is essential for detecting the anomalies and potential breaches while implementing a robust monitoring solution can enhance the threat detection capabilities. Let us see what is the compliance and regulatory risks. The management OS must adhere to various compliance frameworks and regulations where there is a failure to comply can result in legal penalties and reputational damage and also the conducting regular audits ensures that the management OS meets the compliance requirements where compliance consists of rules, standards, policies, requirements, regulations, transparency and the law. Security problem that so how exactly the security problem will occur in large commercial systems containing payroll or other financial data or inviting targets to these. We say that a system is secure if its resources are used and accessed as intended under all the circumstances. So for this we must have mechanisms to make security breaches a rare occurrence rather than normal conditions. Let us see what are the security risks that occur in the management OS. The target for attackers as the control hub. These systems are high value targets for the cyber criminals. And also in the multiple access points like admin interfaces, remote management tools and also APIs can be entry point for the attackers. Common security risks that may occur like privilege escalation that the attackers gaining admin privileges through their vulnerabilities and in the insufficient authentication like 
weak or compromised credentials can lead to an unauthorized access in the remote access vulnerabilities exposed to the management ports and there is a lack of encryption or the weak protocols can be exploited in the misconfiguration there is a poor security settings or the default configurations that will be left unchanged in the unpatched vulnerabilities there is a failure to update and patch the management os that can lead to the exploits let us discuss what is the denial of service that is dos the impact on operations that is attackers could exploit the vulnerabilities to overload the management services causing the system downtime or disruptions for example distributed denial of services attacks will targeting the management interfaces where the impact of exploits like compr- compromise of critical infrastructure and potential for ransom ransomware attacks unauthorized control of hardware systems and in the financial and reputational losses let us see why is the lack of network segmentation while in the risk there is a poor segmentation can expose the management os to attacks from the general network in the mitigation it will implement the separate secure networks for management these systems to limit the exposure in the insider threats like risks the employees or administrators with malicious intent may exploit the access to the management os for example an administrator intentionally misconfiguring the access control bypass security policies let us see what is the mitigation strategies that are there in the regular patching and updates ensure the management os is up to date with security patches use of the multi factor authentication will strengthen the login security for the use of admins and in the network segmentation isolate the management networks to minimize the exposure in the least privileged principle that ensure that only necessary personal or administrative access in the encryption we should encrypt the communication to prevent the eavesdropping dropping and also the man in the middle attacks in the intrusion detection systems implement the ids to monitor and also detect the potential intrusions in the security measures let us discuss what are the levels that are present that system must be protected there are four levels at which the system must be protected at the physical level the easiest way to steal the data is to pocket the backup tapes also the access to the root console will often give the user special privileges such as rebooting the system as a root from removable media even general access to terminals in a computer room offers some opportunities for an attacker let us see the human level security measures like there is some concern that the humans who are allowed access to a system be trustworthy and that they cannot be coerced into a breaching security like phishing involve sending an innocent looking email or the website designer to the fool people into revealing their confidential information in the dumpster diving involve searching the trash or the other locations for the passwords that are written down in the password cracking involve the diving user passwords either by watching them type in their passwords knowing something about them like their pet names or simply trying all the words in the common dictionaries next level is the operating system the os must protect itself from security breaches such as runaway processes memory access violations stack overflow violations the launching of programs with excessive privileges and many others in the network as network communications become ever more important and pervasive in the modern computing environments it becomes ever more important to protect this area of the system this is a growing area of concern as wireless communications and also the portable devices become more and more prevalent and here is the best practices for secure the management os in regular security audits we should conduct audits to identify and fix the security gaps in the backup and disaster recovery ensure the regular backups are robust disaster recovery plan 
in the access control policies use the role based access control and enforce the strict user policies and here is the conclusion and the best practices is understanding the security risks associated with the management os is critical for organization implementing the best practices can significantly reduce the attack surface and also continuous education and training about the security risks are essential for all the stakeholders thank you everyone